we're going to start off by squaring off both edges. Obviously this could have been done in one pass, but for some reason I did it in steps. This tool here I'm making because I have a small product that I make that requires me to mark 8 inches from the edge of a piece of raw stock over and over again. And I could do that with a ruler and a pen of some sort, but uh, I thought overkill on this project would be a little fun. So here we're just recessing the back. This is the back of the tool you're looking at, giving us a pocket. No need to watch that for a few minutes, so let's skip to the end. We're doing the final pass on that rear pocket. Then we're going to flip it over. This is the face we're looking at here. So after getting it lined up with the edge finder, we're going to put some uh, completely unnecessary garnishment on the face. Again, if we're, going to, if we're going to overkill it, let's go for it. It's a tiny little V-groove cutter. Cutting some decorative elements into the face. Again, no need to watch this. Do its thing over and over again, so we'll skip to the end here, cutting the copy and a little bit of an outline. It was somewhere at this point that I realized that I wanted to put a uh, edge treatment on, so I had to raise it up a little bit. Got a little corner rounder end mill there, and you can see that it's in bad shape of a bad need of a sharpening. Take it over to the belt sander, get rid of some of that burr, put a nice brush finish on the face. If you're, if you're careful with this belt sander, you can, you can actually put a really nice finish on a part. Looks good and doesn't take that long either. Smooth those edges out a little. Now let's take it and blow all the junk out of the out of the engraving, all the fine dust particles. See, it really stands out. And here it is. This is what it's used for. Lay it right up against the edge. Take a marker, a scribe, or a knife. In my case, eight inches every time. That's it. That's my overkill project of a 8-inch edge marker.